Now, it's not quite as famous as its neighbours, London Bridge and Tower Bridge, but Southwark Bridge is celebrating a special anniversary today. Exactly 100 years ago, Southwark Bridge was officially opened by the last King George. Guy Lynn has been looking back at its history. King George V officially opened it in 1921. The royal carriage got the first go, accompanied by a troop of the second lifeguards. After the First World War, traffic congestion in the city, uh, the horse kind, was a problem. So excitement about how wide it was now, making it easier for horses. Though never quite as famous as its neighbours London and Tower. There we go. Wow. The Lord Mayor of London, an avid scholar and researcher into the history of the bridge, and the city engineer responsible for its uptake, take a special boat trip together to celebrate its centenary. We inspect every two years as a close inspection. Uh, when they were doing any works, we had to have ab sailors get up very close. I just love the idea of the connection of the city with Southwark, and then you've got the Southwark Cathedral as well. The beauty for me as an engineer, most of those materials that they use in them days don't rot away, they don't rust away. Uh, and don't deteriorate, so it is about preserving her life, is what we're doing most of the time. What used to happen was that people used to come into the city, whether it was with their, uh, with their sheep, and um, I suspect that bridge has had quite a lot of different carriages or, 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 or animals going over it uh, during its time. Over the years, it's been used in films, suffered its fair share of drama, including a huge gas explosion, and a pounding during the Second World War. So 100 years to the day from this, at night time, it will now be lit up with a special display in tribute. Guy Lynn, BBC London.